Today is going to be dissection day. We're looking at the crayfish. Now the crayfish is a really cool creature. It's found in the water. It's part of the kingdom animalia, phylum arthropoda, and the class crustacean. And we're going to be taking this thing apart bit by bit, piece by piece, and better understanding just all the cool parts of its anatomy. Now keep in mind, whenever we do something like this, we want to make sure we have our dissection stuff all available, our handouts available, maybe even some diagrams you can refer to when you're looking at pictures. Because when you get inside there, man, it's a maze. It's all kinds of strange stuff and you need to have some guidelines. But hopefully today, as we go through this and we get our camera in here tight, you'll get a chance to really see the different parts and we'll try to explain a little bit what those parts do. So enjoy yourself, get beyond the idea you got some kind of a crazy creature there, and just look inside and just be delighted by just how amazing all the different parts are. So we'll see you in just a moment and we'll get going with this thing. Let's begin by looking at the gross anatomy. Now you might say, yep, it sure is gross. When we really say the word gross anatomy, we're talking about looking at the external anatomy, looking at the outside, the big stuff. Here we begin with our little rascal. Here's the rostral end, so that's going to be near his nose. This also could be called cranial or anterior. And then we're going to go along the longitudinal axis, that's the long axis, all the way down to the flipper. And that's going to be the caudal end or the posterior end. We also talk about there's a back that's known as the dorsal region. And when we flip him over on his belly, that's the ventral region. If we look at some other aspects of it, if we were to cut this direction, we would say that's a transverse cut. And when we cut this direction, it's a longitudinal cut. In fact, if we cut right along the middle portion, that's right along the midline. So these are just some good dissection directions you want to keep in mind. As we're looking at this guy, let's start from the anterior position and move backwards. First of all, we see these humongous looking claws. Oh my goodness, they look nasty. These things are called chylopeds. They're used for defense, they're used to catch prey. And this one came off as I was just putting them here. And so one of the things you can do as we're looking at the different pieces parts is actually begin disassembling them. How much fun does that sound? So you can take this little rascal here and you can open it up and go, ouch, 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 that really hurts. And they really do kind of hurt. So you see a little hinge there, it's kind of like a hinge joint. And keep in mind as we're looking at the armor, you know, I should mention that too, this is all called the exoskeleton. It's on the outside of the body. It gives support, protection, very hard. You can hear this, like a shell, like a nut have to try to crack that thing open. So we've got this exoskeleton and the crustacean is going to be special because it really has two parts. You got the head and you have the thorax and the two combined are known as the cephalothorax. And then this region right here is known as the carapace. The carapace will be important because we'll be cutting through this initially to get a look inside. If we look behind here, we'll see the rest of the exoskeleton. This is going to be the abdominal region and there's six segments, you can count them six of them there, and then we're going to be looking at this flipper end, and the top portion right here is called the telson, and these two little side ones are called uropods. So you got uropods there. Now, in addition to looking at what we started with here, you got that claw that's just kind of sitting there, it's kind of cool to play with. We've got some legs. Take a look at these legs. These are called walking legs. What do you think they use them for? Haha, <laughs> yes, walking. Good job. So we got walking legs, we got chylopeds. Look at this long, 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 long thing here. That's an antenna. There's also the little short ones that are nearby. Those are antennules. We've got the two different things to consider. All right, I'm going to flip you over. These ones down here on the abdomen, these are called swimmerettes. And swimmerettes have the function of not only helping with swimming, but they also stir up water, which will help to then bring some of these microcurrents over towards the gills, because these guys do have gills, and we'll get a chance to look at that shortly. We also can look at these little swimmerettes and look at the first two pairs and compare them to the rest of them. Here are the caudal ones, posterior. These are the ones more cranial, and we look at the first two sets here. If these things are larger over here, maybe prong-shaped, in comparison to these, it's a male. Now, from my perspective here, they're all looking pretty much uniform, looking like the same deal. I would say this is a craw mom. I don't think this is a craw dad. Just keep that in mind as we begin to start doing some of our dissection. 
we come down here, there's our walking legs, and we can see we have four pair of those. Boom, 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 boom. And then we come up here towards its mouth. And one thing I'm going to do, too, just to get some of these extra legs all over the place, we're going to do a little amputation. Click. And you look at that, it's kind of cool. Here's a walking leg, and notice you got a little claw segment right at the very end. Look at that. I'm going to open the thing up if I can, then I'll show it to you. Little claws there. There we go. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Claw, claw. Bunch of claws. There we go. We got the claws there associated with the walking legs. We can go ahead and pull off a swimmerette just so we can take a look at that. Okay, look at that thing. Totally different looking kind of structure. We got these things called maxillopeds. Now these ones, if you notice, they're sitting right around the mouth. That's the mouth right there. And these ones, again, are going to help with stirring water up. They also will be grabbing food, and they can put the food right into that precious little mouth. Notice the mouth is funny looking. You know, when we think of our mouth, we have horizontal lips. These ones have vertical. That's the mouth region. That's called the mandible. And the mandible is there to crush and grind the food. In fact, when you tap on it, it's hard. So you can see it's definitely got a good grinding function there. We're going to use our blunt probe from time to time just to check things out. You can use that to get inside there a little bit, and you're going to go right into its esophagus. All right, so you can, ooh, that looks very juicy. That side too. Try to open it up just a little bit so we can peer inside. It looks lovely. Got your maxillopeds there, and then you have these little maxillae the littler ones that are sitting right around there. So we have another type of little appendage. So these guys are appendages upon appendages. So look at those little rascals. Kind of cool. So we're just looking at different parts. Abdomen down here, looking from the ventral aspect. Here's going to be your cephalothorax. You have your mouth. There's that little tiny antennule. There's going to be your antenna. And of course, the one thing I didn't mention, which is a very obvious structure, is the eyeballs. And you look at those eyeballs and go, oh my goodness, those are beautiful looking eyes. They look just like ours. They must be simple eyes. And surprise to surprise, they say these things are compound. And if you like, you know, go ahead and get a magnifying glass. You can take an eyeball and enucleate it. So you can take that thing and just kind of pull it out. So we got the eyeball portion there. Just have fun. One thing beautiful about biology is something you can get your hands into, literally. This is known as the gross anatomy. This is the outside portion. What I'm going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take a look on the inside. Make sure you understand as you're looking at this what the different parts are. So again, if I give you a little diagram and point arrows, you know what I'm pointing to. But the next thing will be going inside and taking a look around. <laughs>